takes you to any place on the web that you set up a shortcut for. Take a look at my bookmarks toolbar. There's nothing to speak of. WFX has made a bookmarks toolbar utterly obsolete. Actually, there's just one bookmark here, but we're going to do something with that a little later. Let me show you how WFX streamlines my whole web experience. When I want to take a break from work, I'll often play a game of Tetris. And my shortcut to take me there is TE. How easy is that to remember? So here we go. hopping with WFX, I don't feel the need to keep certain tabs open when I'm done, because I can easily summon them again from the interwebs, on demand. So let me close this one out. Here's another page I visit a lot, the noun project NP. Notice how I generally limit my shortcuts to two or three characters. This just makes it quicker to type in. I'm going to look for a web page icon. Now I'm in the mood for a bit of reading, so I'm going to open up the Kindle Cloud Reader. To pick up where I left off with the book I'm reading. And now I want to go directly to a Google search page instead of opening a new tab first and then having to type in the Omnibox. Next up, uni for Unicode. So here I'm going to draw a shape, more or less, for a Unicode character. Let's see what we come up with. Ah, that's what it's called, an inverted ohm sign. Now, while I'm off gallivanting all over the web, Workflowy is still my home base here in tab one. And right now my countdown timer is going off, so I want to record a Pomodoro in Workflowy, but instead of first jumping to tab 1 and then to my Pomodoro outline, I can jump directly to my Pomodoro outline from where I am right now. And here we are. Let me log my Pomodoro. Normally, I close my unneeded tabs out, but you can keep them open if you want. Look what happens when I activate WFX and type in the same shortcut to the Shape Catcher web page I was just on. Instead of opening up a new instance of this page, WFX first finds this tab. If there isn't already one open, then WFX creates one. This feature is called Find Tab or Create. Let me close out these accumulated tabs. That's just my modus operandi. I'm going to jump to a social media checklist of mine. I run through this list just before I start working each day to see if I've missed out on any correspondence. Let me open up WhatsApp. OK, I've got no new messages. So let me complete this. Next up, Skype. Nothing here either. Let me close this out. And how about Facebook? Great, no birthday notifications or anything. Moving on to Twitter. Okie dokie, nothing that needs replying to over here. And how about the Workflowy Slack group? Nope, nothing interesting happening on a Saturday night. Just two more to go. YouTube. And here in the top right, I see no badge notifications for video comments, etc. So here's an important thing to mention. How about if you want to set up multiple shortcuts for the same domain? For instance, I have two Gmail 
email accounts that I need to access. Let me open up my main personal account, G1. Awesome, inbox zero. And now if I try to open up my Workflowy Academy email inbox, G2, nothing happens. This is because I already have the Gmail domain open in one tab. So the find tab or create feature we looked at earlier is not creating a new tab. I can either close the existing Gmail tab before opening another, or I could fix it so that I can have two Gmail tabs open at the same time. Let's do that. Let's open up our WFX options menu with the built-in shortcut WFO. And I'm gonna do a search for G1. Let me click on that. And here I'm gonna change domain to path and save. Let me do the same with my Workflowy Academy email address. That's G2. Change domain to path. Once again, save. And I'm out of here. So I already have my primary account open and then G2 for my Workflowy Academy account. And as you can see, either nobody loves me or I'm also down to a hard-earned inbox zero on this email account. I'm gonna close out these two tabs now and complete my last item. And now we come to the part that you've been anxiously awaiting. Let me show you how to create a web page shortcut. We actually create web page shortcuts in exactly the same way that we create workflowy list shortcuts. So let me expand my bookmarks toolbar to access this one lonesome Netflix bookmark. And I'm gonna create a shortcut that'll take me directly to this specific TV series. So I activate my WFX prompt and I type in the built-in shortcut WFS and my shortcut is gonna be NF for Netflix. Now I'm gonna close this tab out, delete my last remaining bookmark here, close my bookmarks toolbar for the very last time, and let's test out our newly created shortcut, NF. Hmm, I think it's time to log another Pomodoro before I watch an episode. <laughs> 